Hello and welcome to another video. This will be another Launch TV reaction. This one is called I Made a Big Mistake, so it doesn't look like there's a challenge video today. But this video nonetheless does look interesting, so let's see what happens here. Welcome to Lounge TV. I'm Larry, and that there's Tom. And I'm going to keep doing it just to bug him. It's what? fine when I'm behind the camera, though. Oh. Oh, you just don't want it when you're on a camera. Why don't yeah. you say that? I have said that repeatedly. Ah, you never say I that. have said it multiple times. Guys, I made a big mistake. What else is new? <laughs> is that a... Is that a... What is that? Almost got you, didn't I? Almost. All right, guys. Yeah, anyway, so... Yeah. Did you ever do a boneheaded thing? Well, that would yes. be me. See, you've done it plenty of times. Uh, yeah, we have the four square here if you guys see it. Uh, we put it up for a picnic and uh, nobody played. But that's not the bonehead thing, guys. Here's the bonehead thing. With these girls, I had uh, a couple mistakes I made. So, we had really torrential downpours. Um, and I mean, when I say torrential, this whole place over here was all flooded out here. Puddles all over here. It looked like a pond, didn't it, Tom? Yeah. So, I came out. Was it after that was done or was it the next day? Whatever. Come out here and the... I, I did this before already <laughs> with one. I killed the battery because I put it in a Ziploc to protect it from rain. And the Ziploc filled up with water and ruined the battery. Okay, that was the battery that came with it for the automatic door. Well, I had bought a brand new one which cost me... Roughly around 90 some dollars for a battery for this, right? Look Recharge on this. Yeah, re rechargeable. Uh, rechargeable, yeah. And so I put a Ziploc on it, but I put it sideways, the opening on the side. And under the, if you could see, if you can get a picture of this, Tom, you'd have to come right up here. I might have to open the door a little bit because, uh, and all the chickens are going to come out here. Get out. Can you get a picture of it? Yeah. Okay, so you can see how it's sideways there, guys. Um, this is different. This is this is more on an angle than the other one. So what happened was, because it was sideways, the wire that comes down like this that goes inside, the water was just running there. And if I would have just poked some holes in the bottom, it would have ran and ran down. But instead, it filled up with water, shorted out the battery. Um, and I'm like, oh, great, it fried the door too, because it wouldn't work. I mean, you wouldn't expect rain to go sideways and... Up. Yeah, yeah, and then it was it wasn't one of those storms where it was windy where it was going sideways It was coming straight down So I didn't think anything about it until I came out here and saw that it was filled up with water and it got all inside the battery case They don't make them waterproof This one here. I have it more on an angle now. I also have it There's holes poked in the bottom of that one so that if it does it's going to just drain out I probably don't even need it on there, but you know, I don't know. Anyway, so now, I... something you said earlier, you said this happened, this exact thing happened before? Yeah, I went to this door over here. That's why I had to buy that battery. I mean, yeah, but like... Well, no, what happened was, see that, see that, that plastic one that's on there? That yeah. came with that one, right? So okay. it has a flap that comes over and two snaps on there. All right. To keep it, water from going inside. The new one, when I bought the new door, didn't, for some reason, it wasn't in the package. So I use a Ziploc bag, and unfortunately, I had it under the under the house like this over on there, but the rain went down and went down inside of it and filled the whole thing up with water. Huh. Yeah, you would think I would have learned and put poke some holes in, right? You'd think so. But I did not, okay, Tom? Quit rubbing my face in it, all right? So anyway, guys, very upset about that. I had to take the door off and everything. Luckily, um, I'd say I came out here probably eight o'clock in the morning so they weren't in too long like the, it's set to go off at six o'clock so they were in there for t two extra hours because i thought it opened up came out here it was shut they were cussing up a storm inside the house uh had to use the battery op uh, and it actually worked the door worked to go up but it wouldn't work with that battery but i didn't know if the timing stuff would all work on that so i just took the door off of this one put it on there the whole battery set up and everything like that. You must have some sort of small internal battery to run like a memory program. What in that? Yeah. I don't know. 
I don't know. So anyway, that's fixed now. But here's the big mistake. That's not even a big mistake. That's like one of the, that's just a medium mistake because I could fix it real easy, right? A repeat offender? Yeah. Here's the big thing. So I came out, I forget what storm that was. We had rain because it seem, doesn't seem like we're getting rain every other day. Yeah, kind of. I mean, I we went through a drought back in June, I guess. June, yeah. And everything was dry. It looked like October grass. Now everything is wet. Like, I mean, every morning I come out, there's dew all over the place. Anyway, so I come out and I'm like, there's, I, I went inside to look for eggs and all my wood chips were wet. Right where the door was, right? So the, the, the small door or the, the door, that, door? The door that I put up. So I checked the thing. I'm like, okay, it's nice and dry in the you inside. put up both doors. It doesn't actually answer the question. What's that? Is it the chicken door or the people door? The, the small door. Small door, okay. Yeah, you say the door you put up, but you put up both doors. Yeah, but no, the one I just replaced, Tom. Okay. You got to be specific with this. I want to be specific, like this. Bad. You got to be specific with this. I want to be specific, like this. No way of skipping out anyway, of so... Um, yeah, so I'm like, oh, great, I go inside. Yeah. But no, it looks like New Jersey got a bit of rain. And we might be getting some rain here in Arizona coming up this weekend. It's Wednesday today, so not Wednesday, Thursday. Wait. What day even is it? Hold up. Oh, it's Thursday. And it's all wet all the way across, and I'm like, man, that rain really came in, and I'm like, well, how did that come in? Because if you look at it, I put another rain guard on there too, that one on the angle. So if it makes it past the first one, it's gonna run on an angle so it's not going inside the door. So I get that all, all uh, I had to get all the wood chips out. Cause you don't want that wet stuff in there because that's when you'll get like mites and stuff like that, right? Um, and you don't want them laying in the wet stuff. So I shoveled it all out, got another thing of wood chips, put it all down there, got it nice and dry. And I came outside, and I walked over there, and I was like, and I'll let me show you what I did. So the rain didn't go in, guys. It wasn't rain at all. It was my sprinkler. Because I mowed the lawn a few days before that, and I had put it on top of the uh, picnic table over here, and it was facing this way right like this so when it went off two days in a row it was going straight into the window <laughs> and just right in there the chickens were probably like what the heck who's shooting water in here but yeah so um uh, they were like when does that go off 7 30 i think it is oh well then they would have been out of yeah they should they would have been out yeah. But they go in and out to lay eggs. You know? Egg production's been weird recently, hasn't it? Uh, no, they don't. Well, there's usually one in there. Because there's one that likes to just sit on them. She's broody. Well, yeah, I was saying that like, maybe like this spontaneous, quote-unquote, rain is what might have been a yeah. mess enough of it because they don't yeah. want to be in where it's raining and laying eggs. Look at my one big tomato here, Tom. But what yeah, is sickly, that hot uh, sickly tomato plant? Right. And that, look at that tomato plant. It's dead. Yeah. Both of them are dead. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get three tomatoes off of that. None of my plants have done good. Look at them all. And very uh, Charlie Brown Christmas esque. Yeah, just that one back there is doing decent. So I don't know what's going on with them. I give up. I don't care. It's too late in the season now to worry about that. My pepper's been doing good. These three plants anyway. A lot better than last year's at least. Cucumbers look like crap. Unfortunately. Um, Still getting zucchinis. Um, you can see one right there. And I did plant more onions, and they're coming up now. You can see the oh, little yeah. tiny ones in there. So um, they're doing good. The dill did good. I don't even remember what I planted there, but that never came up. Yeah, I don't know what I think was going. Time on. was part of that, huh? I think time was part of that. Yeah, we could. It, it was cold. Might as well get away from there. Yeah, let's get away from buzzing. Um, it was cold. Um, we had a lot of chances of frost, and, took, and so I got planting everything really late. So I guess that's what happened. But anyway, yeah, so I made a big mistake. Not the first time I ever made a mistake, and it's not the last time I'm sure I'm going to ever make a mistake. Um, 
checks so, out, then nothing you can do about that later. I had to order another battery because I always want a spare one um, for that. And I actually was thinking I'm, I'm going to put two doors up, one on the other side too. So that this way we can have two automatic doors. Okay. So that if one ever breaks, you at least have the other one. So as soon as but you open the door, one can sneak in through that well, here's one. Here's an example, John. Like suppose, suppose I'm away and you're taking care of the chickens, right? Mm -hmm. And you come out here and the door won't open. And no matter what you do, even with the spare batteries, it won't open. What do you do? Um, try to figure out how to get it open. I mean, I'm sure there's some way to force it. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, and I'd rather you just have get that door open. You'd probably talk to me. I'd, I'd probably just tell you, look, there's screws on the side. Take the four screws off, and then the whole take the whole door off. Yeah. And then that way, they can just. Uh, wow, I've never seen one one of the chickens up on top of the, the high post in there. On the other in the other pad. Oh yeah, back there. Yeah. I've never yeah. seen them up that high. That's because they're young. Wait till they get old. They won't be able to. They'll break their legs when they go to jump down off that. That's where the food is kept. But anyway, yeah, so uh, that now you know that if you ever ran into a problem, you just take the door off and we'll just we'll just hopefully not have to worry about any animals that week getting inside there. They have they still would have to breach the pen to get to go into the house. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway guys, that was my mistake. Um, I felt so stupid. It cost me another hundred dollars. So these chickens, they cost a lot of money. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they cost a lot of things, don't they, Tom? Yep. Yeah. Well, guys, just wanted to fill you guys in on that. Until, yep. until next time, grab yourself something. Well, hold on, one more thing. What? Uh, speaking of that picnic that we just had, uh, another mistake that he made was that he went up against me and Aunt Jackie in cornhole, him and Joe, and he lost. Time to go to sleep, Tom. Ah. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Ah. Go to sleep. Ah. There's no way I'd ever switch. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Uh, but yeah, it's cool that there was a lot of damn chickens and stuff. I'm not sure when we'll get a challenge video again, but I guess we will find out. So. But yeah, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Stay tuned for the next one. Half mile short is next. <coughs> Although I'm probably going to upload that before this video. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do three half mile reactions today. In addition to that, I'll do a Devil Inside Showcase as well. So.